think it's a very character forming experience. I think I found the right foundations here. Being at Benny's gave me a place to find who I was. Um, the rowing for me was also it was instrumental in kind of building my character. The rowing has taught me everything when it comes to being persistent, being disciplined, and pursuing my dreams. So I think Benny's has offered that to me. For me, it was the most um, life-changing event. I, if, if I was to subtract St. Benedict's from my life's equation, I don't think I would have achieved nearly half of the little that I have achieved. So I'm eternally grateful for that. Community, family, tight-knit means, means everything. So you need to nurture what you have and the people that you know. And um, that sort of tight bond was what we took, what I took through from, from the school to, to my adult life. It's an environment where you can be accepted and you can excel in anything. And I think the good St. Benedict's Catholic values have always been something that have been held, held in good stead. I'm not Catholic, I'm Greek Orthodox, but I was made to feel welcome from a spiritual point of view that there was no, no uh, ears and graces, no distinction. The main thing were the values that we were taught at the school. When we take that into our adult life, the issues of honesty and integrity. The school motto, truth and charity, Veritas and Caritate has stuck with me. It's part of what I do every day. It's the truth is a key part of my profession as a journalist. Well, writing has been my biggest lesson, probably in life. I've taken a lot out of writing. And uh, so, thank goodness, and one of the reasons I came here was because of writing, actually. It turns out learning is something that's, I think, organic to everybody. It's something we've built in, but it takes very special people to pull it out of you, or at least expose it to you as something that's positive. The teachers at the school offer an immense amount of support to the students. That definitely teaches you a great way to live in your life. So it teaches you not only to focus on your work or focus on your studies, but also to focus on your body and also to focus on your mind and your heart and your soul. Because at the end of the day, that's the stuff that stays with you throughout your entire life. Undoubtedly, I think private school education and its benefits. You know, once you hit university, what you could cope with was a lot easier than when you looked at your peers, for example. I remain quite optimistic about my future. Um, I have seen the results that St. Benedict's has the capacity to produce. Well, it makes me feel extremely comfortable about the prospects of my future. The first thing that hits you as you drive into St. Benedict's, 1958. That's, that's heritage, right? Uh, and you can't feign heritage. It's, it's just a time. It means you've stood the test of time. And they'll get a well-rounded foundation. So, talking about foundation, I'm talking a really start, strong foundation, concrete that's, that's immovable. What comes with that ethos is also world-class teaching, world-class facilities, world-class sport, and really academic performance that is second to mind. And having kids here now also sort of seeing, seeing that tight community bond. It was only, I think, when I had uh, two boys of my own and I had the opportunity to send them to San Benedict's did I realise the values that I really enjoyed with San Benedict's. Um, and passing those on to my kids is probably the, one of the best gifts I can give. So I'm really excited to one day go out, be successful by making a difference in the world. For the best. <laughs>